Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to build a teleport pad in Second Life. Now you might wonder, well, why do you need a teleport pad? Well, let me show you. Let me go into fly mode. This guy right here has a mini jet plane up on a pad just above here. And the problem is, every time he wants to get to that mini jet plane and take a little ride, he's got to fly up there and hop on. Wouldn't it be cool for a fast getaway if he could just run to his teleport pad and teleport to this position, jump on his plane, and fly away? Yes, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's come back over here and build that teleport pad. Now the first thing I'm going to need is an object to put the script on. So we're going to make a circular object that will turn into a teleport pad. So let's go ahead and right click on the ground, hit create, and let's choose a cylinder and put that on uh, the stage. We're going to control shift and do a little bit of work on that cylinder, make it larger, and then we're going to grab that control shift button again and bring that blue control handle and shrink the Z position. There we go. That's a nice little teleport pad right there. I'll make it a little bit larger so I can sink it into the ground a little bit. Good. That's pretty cool. Now what you want to note right away is that you have with this pad the X, Y, and Z coordinates here at the top and that's going to be become important when we talk about vectors of transportation. So let's get to that right now. So how am I going to write all this script? Well, Once again, I've, as I've said, if you're a new coder or a new scripter, don't worry about writing script, worry about modifying script. And here's a great place to find some script. That's on Jeff Heaton's website. Jeff Heaton has written two great books uh, in uh, Second Life Coding. And one of them is Scripting for Second Life, and he actually gives his code away for free on the web. And so I'm going to go there and download that script. And I've already done that previously, and let me open that up for you. So I downloaded Jeff's scripts and uh, unzipped it in SL recipes. And uh, in Chapter 3, there is the teleport device. And you're definitely going to want to buy Jeff's books and read through the documentation so you can understand the code more fully. All we're going to do today is cut and paste the code into the object, get it working, and then make some minor modifications to that code. Best way to start when it comes to coding is learn how to modify code first, and then before you know it, you'll be writing your own. So let's right-click and open this up in Word. So I've opened up the code in Word, and I'm going to just cut and paste this code right onto my object. So let's go ahead and go here and right-click and copy. And let's go back to Second Life. And I'm um, clicked on my object to edit. And w in what I want to do is go to Content, New Script. And I actually accidentally clicked on it twice, so let's delete that one script. And I'm going to rename this. And we'll call this Teleport. And double click on this. And what you see here is the old boring script, the Hello Avatar script. I'm going to highlight that and get rid of that. You can just go ahead and delete it now. And then I'm going to paste Jeff's code in. Control V will do that for me. Or I could have went to edit, paste, either one. And now the code's in there. And what I need to know is where am I going to? And uh, this is the vector target right here. That's where the tele teleporter is going to send me. And here's the offset parameter that's going to tell me the distance between where I am now to where the teleporter is going to send me. So the most important parameter here is this right here. We have to go up and get that number. So let's do that real quick. So here's the problem. I need the target vector that I'm going to ascend to where my mini plane is waiting for me for my quick escape. So I need to go up there and get that target vector. But before I do, let's right click on this uh, object as well and hit edit. And you can see it's X, Y, and Z parameters are there as well. I need that vector to return. So go ahead and write down 182, 67, and 24. I'm rounding the numbers up. Now note that Z direction needs to be a little bit higher since I don't want to materialize inside the middle of the pad, so make it 25. And now let's go up to our pad and get the other numbers to transport back. Is it home to fly? And let's go. Okay. 
There we go. Up, up, up. There's our pad. And let's fly over there. There we go. And let's go ahead and put a mini pad here as well, a teleport pad here as well. So let's hit edit. And let's bring out a cylinder, as we did before. Control shift, let's make that a little bit larger. And let's control shift and shrink it a little bit uh, so it looks like a telepad. And bring it up there, it fits right nicely. And from that, we can see we are getting our coordinates right here. So go ahead and click on this pad, and up above are the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Let's go ahead and type those into Word. And so this is our second pad, and our positions are 201, 41, and 72. Of course, you have to add 1 to it so you don't materialize at the middle of the pad. And uh, we need to put that in the first code, so we, this takes us back to this pad. And previously, I'd written the position of the first pad down, which is 182, 67, and 25, adding that 1, of course. And that needs to go into the second code, so it takes us back to the first pad. So let's go ahead and paste Jeff's code into this particular pad and use it to teleport back to our first pad. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and paste that first pad coordinates into the second pad code. So let's come along here and uh, click on this. Click on content uh, and hit new script. And let's uh, rename this to uh, teleport. And double click on that and bring up that script. And uh, let's just uh, Control V and paste in Jeff's code. Let's go up to the uh, target coordinate, which will be our first pad. Let's bring up my notepad and let's see if I can remember what those were. So my first pad coordinates are 182, 67, 25. Let's go ahead and put those in. 182, 67. 25 and now I want to save my code and it compiled successfully that's great and now let's go ahead and get out of edit and we can see immediately that the teleport um, words are above the pad let's go ahead and click on that and this says please right click to teleport so we'll right click and teleport and wow I'm back on my s first pad so let's move off of that and let's go ahead and put the coordinates of the second pad in there so I'm going to right click edit, double click on teleport, and let's go to the coordinates and open up my Word document. And so the coordinates of the second pad were 201, 41, 72, and I put that into my first code. So this is my first code, and it's put in 201, 41, 72, 201, 41, 72. Oops, Control-Z if you make a mistake. 72. And let's hit Save. And it compiled successfully. And you can see the teleport word above that. That's great. And now let's go ahead and get rid of the, out of the edit mode and click on this and teleport. And there I am, teleporting between both pads. Isn't that super? Let's go ahead and click on this and teleport. And I'm back home. Well, that's pretty cool. Let's walk back a little bit.